Hey guys, it's Adam aka Swimming Bird and welcome back to Card Wars. Joining me today is a shambling pile of cats who recently stole my girlfriend's skin and are now wearing it in a weird macabre disguise. But I'm on to you cats. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're going up against uh, <laughs> Flame Princess today and we have some exciting news. It's actually Danielle here, as you can probably guess. Uh, so <laughs> we're going up against Flame Princess, but I have some really exciting news. Last weekend, against all odds, I won a Card Wars tournament, and I got a black card and a gold card that are awesome, so hopefully we will see those today, and I can talk a little bit about the tournament as we play against Flame Princess. Hopefully she's not too tough so I can multitask, try to recall the events. It was a little crazy. Did we get one of them? Nope, we didn't yet, but we're going to get it soon, hopefully. Okay, so set the stage. It was last Sunday night. We decided we're going to go on a night walk. <laughs> and, but then I was like, oh, I gotta try to enter that Card Wars tournament at the last second, swoop in in a group of 100 people that decided to wait till the last moment to, to enter, and hopefully get enough victories within like 20 minutes or so to win. So that was the plan. But then uh, we, we walked for a bit, and it was like, I think it was like 11.40 or something. I figured the tournament was supposed to end at 12, so I was we were trying to walk back. I was like, frantically flooping and <laughs> it was really hard to walk as we were trying to I was trying to play and stuff but uh, I managed to get a few victories but then by the time we got back I uh, I realized that the, I had an extra hour so I was like oh I gotta keep going at this and it was really tough because there were a couple other people in my group that were ahead of me I made my way up to like fifth and then fourth and then third but the people ahead of me were like so far ahead and there's one of the new cards if we can get it here in a second I'm gonna put this corner tore down and uh, we're going to see the gold card. This is probably the better of the two, but the black card is, is very rare, so I want to show both of them here eventually. So anyways, oops, I missed. We, uh, <laughs> we got back. I was kind of, you know, trying my best to at least stay in the top five so I could get the gold card and get the gems. But uh, the tournament ended, and it said processing results. So I was like, okay, I, gotta, I can't really do much more else, I guess. But then I went into the tournament screen and I was still able to gain trophies. So I was like, what the heck? Might as well keep playing, even though it says the tournament's over. And this is the gold card that I got. Let's drop him down here. It is a golden Husker Giant. Look at him. Whoa. Whoa, Whoa he stomped there. He's crazy. He has a really good floop, which I'll show here, but he also has an insane amount of HP. Let's power up my corn cards while we're at it. So anyways, uh, I'm still earning trophies. And I keep checking back on the leaderboards, and I keep going up in the rankings, and I'm like, what the heck? This is weird. I was in third, but I'm still earning trophies. Everyone else has stopped playing because they figured that they, you know, the tournament was over. And it was weird because I was able to keep earning Trickster. them. Yeah, it was, it's a little, I feel bad about this because the person <laughs> who was in first ended up getting second because I passed them in trophies. I, I had like 200 by the end, and they were like at 150, but it only, com it only calculated like... 160 or something, so I just scraped by. I think it was, it, like, must, must calculate them in order. If any of the developers are watching, this is kind of a bug that hopefully will get fixed, because I felt really bad that I stole the victory from somebody else. At the same time, I wanted to show you guys the new cards, but yeah, I, I feel bad. It was, uh, tough luck for that guy, but yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Um, hopefully they'll fix that sometime here, because yeah, I saw, I saw some other people online complaining about it. But I guess long story short, we ended up, uh, ooh, let's floop the Husker Giant. Look at this floop here. So it's one, and it adds two attack for each of your corn landscapes. So it's like six. It's not quite as good as, like, the corn Ronin, but you can quickly power this guy up, and he's already very strong. So I think that's pretty awesome. I should probably block one of these guys. I wasn't thinking about it. I just wanted to show that Husker Giant's floop. But anyways, so yeah, we got, we got the gold Husker Giant. We got the mysterious black card that we'll probably show here soon. And uh, I also got a few gems and stuff. So that's pretty good. Man, this guy hits like a truck. He's already really tough and uh, powerful. And then he can power himself up even for further. That's a card that was in the game, I think, already. But the gold one was a special prize. So I'm happy about that. I did also see if you guys are playing and you can't manage... You know, you've, you've been trying at the tournaments and you haven't managed to get a, a black card yet. I saw someone... Either it's a glitch or it's an actual part of the game. But if you open cool chests, there's a chance to find a black card, I guess. I saw someone get like a fat caterpillar black card, <laughs> which I don't think is one that has uh, come out yet. Like it's in one of the upcoming tournaments. Let's see. I think we can finish her off here. Well, maybe. What is this? This guy boosts defense. He's pretty good though. 
I'm just gonna boost all these guys. I can salute both my Ronin and my Giant. They're getting super powerful. Flame Princess is some good stuff. I need that Silo of Truth. That's really good. I think that was another one that was in the episode. But yeah, we won. My apologies to the to the random person. I don't remember his name, but I'm sure he was. He woke up the next day and was probably very sad that uh, his, his, his victory was stolen. Yeah. So hopefully they get that fixed. But at least I I just wanted to win at least one of the tournaments to show you guys what the black cards look like and how they work. There are a bunch of them, so I don't know if I'll be able to get you know many more. If any, because you, yeah, I, I, my strategy was to enter the tournament later, so I wouldn't have to, you know, battle for two weeks to try to keep the top spot. And I think a few other people probably had that same idea, because if you get into a bracket later, then you can just, you know, fight a few people. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit with my Ronin and finish this off here. Uh, but yeah, the later you enter, the easier it is a bit. But then you're competing with other people who are frantically trying to get as many victories as possible, so it's not assured, but I think it's an easier way to get into the top spot if you uh, if you want to enter later. I, it's weird, they don't have a cutoff date, and it runs for two weeks. I don't I don't really think they should, because I like how open it is, and how it, I think it's really cool that you can fight against only a group of 100 people. That way, if you, you know, have uh, some really good, like, you might get some really good people that are, like, on the global leaderboards in your group, but it still gives you, like, a chance, even if you're not the best player, to to still win a tournament, you know? It's not like you're up against, like, thousands of people. You're only up against a hundred or so. Let's, uh, I'm gonna, speaking of cool chests, let's open a cool chest while we're at it here. And then I'm gonna save my gems for one of these other ones. Uh, once we, ooh, the Sandy Beach Bash is, is live. That's good because my black card is actually a sand, a sandy lands card, so we could use more sand cards. Uh, let's do another one here because we've got only a cool card. Whoa! Oh no, that's the, that's the dome. I was like, that. <laughs> it looked like special, but I was like, oh wait, that's the first building that you get in the game. <laughs> so it's not that special. Come on, one. We'll do one more. This is. It's addictive to uh, to do this until you <laughs> get a better card. But look how many coins I've got, like, I, I think by trying to get all the stars on a bunch of the things and getting gems. Oh my gosh, a five-star card! It's pretty rare, but it's awesome! <gasps> the it's school a building. house! <laughs> it, well, no, that's a good building, though. And when you, uh, floop in it, yeah, you get five defense. That's the one that was in the, oh. in the show, so I was like, oh, I kind of want the ones that are in the show to make, like, a similar deck. Awesome, I'm glad we got that. So yeah, the... I'm really... It's cool that the, uh, the, the cool chests still give you some stuff, and apparently they give you black cards, so... Keep your eyes out for that. If anyone else managed to get a black card from a cool chest, let me know. Because I want to uh, see if we could get some of the ones that aren't available yet and stuff. But yeah, we might get the black card this time. If not, we'll show it next time, hopefully. It's uh, it's pretty good, though. Well, it's not... It, the black cards aren't meant to be the best, but they have zero magic to summon them. So they're kind of just useful in there. There we go. It's good in the beginning. Did that slow spin. Yeah, and they save you a lot of magic. I think almost all their floop abilities involve flooping other cards as well in combination. So the magic that you save, putting it down. Oh my gosh. Oh my glob. We got two witch ways. Let's see how much magic we get from one. Oh, not, oh four. That's fine. We'll just do both of them and we'll do some crazy oh. Ronin tricks. Doesn't look like we have the black card yet, but ooh, can I do... Um, Look at this. We're gonna do a Ronin, we're gonna do a Floop, and then I think, can we do two? Oh no, they cost three. So I can only, I could lay both of them at least. And then I can, yeah. I was gonna say I could Floop one of them, but I'll they're wait till I have more block cards. At all? Uh, no, they're not doing that much damage, and then the Ronins will do more. I think that's something that I have. High risk, high reward. Yeah, the, the Ronins are kind of like kamikaze there. But yeah, the uh, that's oh, something no. I ran into in the tournament was I would do this strategy where I would kind of leave stuff open to do more damage. And that's really risky because a couple matches I like, I had one hit on that, like I had to do one damage and they beat me. Cause some people who used like cards that were a bit, you know, more basic, but at least uh, did steady damage over time would like beat me a few times. I lost a few times and then you lose your trophy streak. You don't get as many trophies. So it was frustrating. Cause I was like, I gotta catch up to these guys. It was intense. But I'm glad we, we won in the end, even if it was through duplicitous means. Hey, I'm very... <laughs> I feel bad. If you're out there, got ran, random guy, and you saw me in your tournament, I apologize for stealing your black card. But hopefully... It's for you the videos. Yeah. It's for the videos. I do want to... Yeah. I'm glad I got one to show, but hopefully I... If I get in that situation again, I'm not going to try to, like, steal the 
victory from somebody. And no one else should either. Yeah. We I don't condone that. Yeah, hopefully it'll get fixed. We'll see. I know there's a few things, like the models for some of the black cards and the new cards, like, are still a little weird and stuff. Doing the weird T-frame thing. So hopefully that's on a priority, though, because that's, like, a glitch that affects game balance and not just, like, appearance of cards or whatever. All right. Oh, I didn't realize that there is a Sand Knight there who's going to do 20 damage. So we definitely need to block that next turn. Oh, she's got two of them. I only have one. She's trying to get me with those Sand Knights. I like the, the Sand Knight and the Cornator are kind of similar in the style, but one boosts attack and one boosts defense. And uh -oh. we got to be careful here. I'm getting distracted talking about the tournament. Okay, so we can do... I think I can do... No, I, I got to use these guys. Can't put down my little jackal yet. We gotta do an adorable snake and a nope and a gross mouthball. Sometimes I grab the wrong card and then it's like what? Like it's really bad with spells and stuff if you're not meaning to to do that. What is the floop in this guy? I'll just do that. There we go. Yeah, I, I'm in block mode now. We gotta slowly little her away. I don't know if I'm gonna get that. The uh, I mentioned it's a ooh a three star. The the black card is a sandy lands one. So you might be able to guess if you uh, are keeping track of some of them, but it looks like we might not be able to show it this time unless it pops up right at the end here. We do have an open sand lane. The jackal's going to fill it soon. <laughs> the jackal sounds like a military nickname or something. I don't know. Well, there's that yeah, jackal. Yeah, I was going to say. I think. And there's an NES game where you like ride around in jeeps called jackal, I think. I don't know if that's based on the movie or something. Anyways, we're talking about card wars here, not jackals. Although, yeah. The Sand Jackal. I haven't seen another one that uses the Sand Jackal's model. Like, you can tell a few of them are based off each other, like the Husker Knights, the uh, the little mm. Sand Knights, and the Cornator kind of all have very similar mm. little, uh, what are they called? Horse model things there. Um, let's see. We can only do this, I guess. Do it. Loop it up. I should be trying to get these guys out of here. He keeps... She keeps filling up the lanes, though, so as soon as I knock him out, she's got another one ready to go. That happens, like, that was another thing of the of the deck. Like, we have all the time we want to uh, to try to beat Flame Princess here, but in the tournament, when I'm, like, running out of time, if the matches keep stalling longer and longer, I'm like, no, come on. I still would like to see the ability to, like, eventually, if they can somehow figure out a way to make it work fighting against a real player. Like, I think there's enough of a, a player base here where... If they, like, had a way to do it, I bet we could set up, like, matches with people that are on at the same time and, and fight in real time. <gasps> There's the card right there. Oh my gosh. Should I save it? Oh no. I think I'm just going to finish her off. It's a teaser. We're going to see it next time. Because <laughs> I don't really need to use it. There we go. She's done. You guys got a glimpse of it. It's a, it's going to be a, a cute one, I think. But we will glimpse that next time. Yeah. Sorry for teasing it. <laughs> but... <laughs> But yeah, I just needed to hit one more with my Cornator there. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you're enjoying Card Wars. Oh my gosh, two three-star chests. What do we got? Oh, two Clairvoyant Dagger Storks. Those, those sell for quite a bit, so I'm kind of glad to get those regardless. We're going to take down Flame Princess next time, and I think we're moving on to the next area finally. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed this Comfy Cave. We'll see you next time for more <laughs> Card Wars. Goodbye. Bye.